Hello and welcome back to another video of EUC in Austin. This is the North Walnut Creek Trail and I'm Rachel. And we are slowing down here watching for pedestrians. Wanted to do a video of the North Walnut Creek Trail because we don't have any video footage of that. I did do the footage of the trail for the South Walnut Creek. If you'd like to check it out, I will put it in the description here. Well, we actually parked, there's my husband and my daughter doing the carving, the writing technique they talked about in some of our videos. But we actually parked at the Balcones District Park to ride the trail on the North Walnut Creek Trail. We just feel that there's uh, less of a hassle for parking at the Balcones District Park than if we had parked at the main parking lot for Walnut Creek um, off of Lamar Boulevard here in Austin. So just a tip for y'all, if uh, you are you know, thinking about going and checking out this trail and the parking situation, personally we prefer to park at the Balcones District Park and ride the trail down to the main portion, Walnut Creek to Lamar Boulevard. Okay, so we are actually on the main trail here. There's me, my husband and my daughter doing their carving, which again is a riding technique, going from side to side to side. And if you caught my last video, um, I had said that uh, we are actually on different wheels now. My electric unicycle, what I'm riding now, is a Sherman Max, which is a bigger and heavier wheel. Gives me more stability. And my daughter has upgraded to the Bagode Mountain Climber, which my husband had actually ridden in the past videos that we've had. And my husband now is riding the Extreme Bowl Commander, which is a heavier wheel. It is actually very similar to what I'm riding, the Sherman Max. They're very comparable, but he is on that Bagode Commander. Okay, so here there is actually a small steep incline, uh, decline here. Incline's coming back up. So we gotta slow it down. We are going downhill. If you're going to be riding this trail as a biker without e electric, um, I just be careful like going uphill. It is kind of a steep um, to go uphill. We do have friends who ride with us and they are on manual bikes and it's hard going back up the hill, coming back from the trail so that's on the way coming back but here is the trail i hope you um, enjoy this video that we have of the trail as you can see there's a lot of trees here because this is actually right after the ice storm that we had here in austin so they haven't cleared a lot of the trees up it's definitely a work in progress clearing up all these trees um, it is definitely a mess um, and you know something that we need to um, just take care of in our community okay there's a jogger there right there and we are continuing on this trail there's a lot of people actually on this north walnut creek trail here this is a very busy trail so if you're looking for something you know you like to do people watching um, to kind of you know get to know the environment and all that it is actually a good trail you know there's lots of people on it but if you're looking for something like you don't want um, a lot of people on it you just be want to be the only person on the trail here we are we're making a left here on Mopac um, it gets kind of crowded, especially on the weekends. If you do want to try it, it's probably best for you to um, go uh, during the week when, it, you know, it's less crowded here. Okay, 
So we are just continuing on and carving here. See my husband and my daughter, they are carving. Um, we're veering to the right here, okay? Just kind of slowing down when we do see the pedestrians and then continuing on. Now this trail is three miles one way and then three miles back, so six miles, um, we're making a left here, we're veering to the left. This is Mopac and we are going along Mopac here. I just want to tell y'all, I'm actually working on a different video editing program. So if, you know, my titles are kind of in misplaced, like the last time I had, I had to do some adjusting with the titles, please bear with me. I'm working with a new video editing program, actually, that does better in 4K. So just bear with me. I am learning. I am actually working, if you're interested, in DaVinci Resolve. I was using a different editing program before. But moving on, so we are actually still on this North Walnut Creek Trail, just going underneath the bridge here and continuing on. And as I had mentioned, this is right after the ice storm a couple weeks ago as I actually do the video voiceover for this um, it is actually spring break so it has been a couple weeks since that ice storm so you'll see a lot of branches and trees uh, throughout uh, the video as they still needed to clean up right after the ice storm so here we go and this is one of the trails that I do enjoy. Um, there are a lot of people on this trail, so you just need to be mindful if you do ride an electric unicycle or any type of vehicle. We're going uphill here. There's kind of like a steep incline that there's gonna be a lot of people, especially since when you get to the main trail, and that's where we're going now towards the main parking lot. So we're making a right here on Park Bend oh, Drive park and Mopac park here. Bend and Mopac. Continuing on, and there is St. David's left, Hospital David. on the left-hand side. Like I had mentioned, we started at the Balcones District Park. We prefer to park there because of the parking situation. It gets kind of crowded in the main parking lot for the North Walnut Creek Trail. So we prefer to start at Balcones District Park and then head on down. Okay, there is a biker there. And, um, you know, we'll be seeing lots of pedestrians throughout this video. Stroller, trailers, kids, dogs, loose dogs. There's a spoiler alert. And you'll be able to see how we do handle being around these types of obstacles. If you're still beginning on the electric unicycle, I would probably caution against going on these types of trails where there are a lot of people. Just get your practice first until you feel confident as you just don't want to have an accident if you are just starting out. Here are some pedestrians walking Hello. here. Hello. And usually, like I've mentioned in other videos, we slow down for the pedestrians when we approach them or dogs or kids. And then we speed up a little bit faster, not too fast, uh, when we pass them. We just want to be mindful of our surroundings and the people around us. Don't want to give the electric unicycle community a bad name. And safety is our main priority here on this YouTube channel, EUC in Austin. So there's a lot of slowing down, speeding up a little, slowing down, speeding up a little. As we continue on these trails, we enjoy riding these trails. I think my husband's pointing out some branches there to my daughter. We enjoy riding these trails. There's some tree branches there on the left. He's pointing out on the right that fell down. But we're at the 1.5 mile mark here, North Walnut Creek Trail. 
As I said, it's three miles going and three miles back. So round trip, it is six miles on this North Walnut Creek Trail. And we just passed the one and a half mile mark, meaning that we're actually halfway through the entire trail. Okay, there's a pedestrian with their dog on a leash. And, you know, we're just kind of continuing on here. But we prefer to ride these trails versus going on on the street. We're not street riders. I'm not a street rider. But there are people on the electric unicycle, on e-bikes, on, you know, electric skateboards that do enjoy riding the streets. Um, I'm not one of them. For the most part, our family enjoys riding the trails and going through the scenery of nature. That's what I enjoy. I'm not much to see, you know, buildings and concrete and stuff like that, but I'll do it once in a while, as you'll see in some of our videos here. Okay, so we are continuing on here and we're slowing down again, going over this bridge. There are some pedestrians and just kind of looking around going at a safe comfortable speed enough to kind of look around and enjoy the atmosphere i will tell you we recently went on locally on an electric unicycle group ride with an electric unicycle group and they were going at faster speeds than we usually do um, it was great because uh, there was someone um, at the end at the rear of the group who I was with to make sure that everyone was included since we are intermediate riders actually we were able to keep up even my daughter on her mountain climber and also because our wheels are bigger they're faster they have the range we didn't have to worry about um, keeping up okay here we are slowing down and we are going at a walking speed as we near these pedestrians you do not want to speed past these pedestrians there is an etiquette as i have mentioned in my prior videos when you're on these trails uh, specifically with pedestrians, specifically with other riders and bikers, and especially people with dogs, children, and also strollers. You just want to be mindful of those pedestrians. I know I've been going on about that, but it is very important. Safety first. Uh, you don't want to get into a major accident. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching our um, video channel, EUC in Austin. Please like and subscribe if you do enjoy the channel. And if you know anyone who may be interested in our video channel, EUC in Austin, please let them know and share the videos with them. Okay, we are at the two mile mark here at the North Walnut Creek Trail. We are almost there. As I had said, it's three miles one way and three miles back. And we just passed the two mile mark. So for us as electric unicycle riders, this trail actually goes pretty fast for us. A couple miles is a walk in the park for us as electric unicycle riders. There's a creek, I believe, on the left-hand side we just passed. But I do enjoy it. I do enjoy seeing all the people, and it gives us a, a chance to actually hone in on our skills, navigating around obstacles, people, dogs, small children. That's actually a very hard skill to master versus just riding the electric unicycle. If you can navigate around obstacles and prepare yourself, just like driving a car, then you'll be well on your way to being a more experienced rider. Okay, we are passing the Gracie Woods Playground here on the right-hand side. It's right here off of the trail, off of the North Walnut Creek Trail. You see the playground there on the right hand side so we're kind of continuing on here as we go along the trail here as we continue on so there's another pedestrian and we are just kind of continuing on 
this trail here, navigating around the pedestrians that we see. And if you have any comments uh, or questions about electric unicycle riding or any type of riding, as I've mentioned in other videos, please feel free to put it down here in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, know what uh, types of things are on your mind as far as electric vehicles go. And there is actually a one-wheel rider right there. So that is a version of an electronic skateboard, an electric skateboard, a one wheel. And we actually have been riding with our local uh, club, uh, locally here in Austin, the One Wheel Club, having a great time riding with them on their events. We are slowing down here. There is a family here walking. Again, you just want to make sure you slow down for the pedestrians when you do see them uh, when you ride these electric vehicles. But getting back to the local groups, yes, there's actually a local one wheel club here in Austin that we do enjoy riding with. They actually go at our speeds. Okay, we're at two and a half miles here out of three North Walnut Creek Trail. They tend to go at our speeds, but they're actually open to all electric vehicles. So whether you have an e-bike, a scooter, an uh, electric unicycle, what we ride, they're open to all vehicles. We are actually gonna go off-roading now at the North Walnut Creek Trail. My husband actually surprised me on this part and we are actually getting into the off-roading trails as a family now since we do not really ride the streets we're not really street riders we actually enjoy the trails we do the paved ones but we're actually starting to explore some of these off-roading trails and at the north walnut creek trail here Oop, super bumpy avoid the roots there's a lot of roots here uh, from the trees so you just got to be careful but yes again super bumpy avoid the roots here you see them on the ground um, it's better to avoid them than to try to you know no here I am getting off okay it is way too narrow I gotta um, walk between this. these <sighs> trees yeah but I, I, I wanted tip. to be sure roots. to get this footage so if you are interested in riding these it's types of trails that are more off-roading, these are for safe. the mountain bikers. You can kind of see what it looks like. Our electric unicycles can handle these types of trails because they do have power since we are on bigger wheels. All of us, including me, myself, and my daughter. So it's just one of those things where we need practice and experience. Uh, we are more intermediate riders, but as when it comes okay. to these mountain bike trails, we are now still that area beginning, back there was pretty bumpy. but it is very fun. Now, this is the flat right, there were part of, of the roots. trail. It's very flat here, so it's a little bit easier. You don't see as many roots as when, um, you know, in the beginning of this off-roading adventure that we're having. And actually, my husband said that a lot of the one wheels do ride here because it's just a smooth portion of the trail. Uh, the majority of the time uh, with the one wheels, since their wheels are smaller than ours, they just gotta be careful. Yeah, if like this, there this are is areas nice. that flat. Uh, have more obstruction, this area. rocks, roots, because it could actually tip I them over. This if they're not careful. So they tend to ride on areas that are more smoother. And we have seen videos of uh, one wheelers riding this Austin Walnut Creek Trail more on the mountain bike, the trails, the off-roading portion with the one wheels. And my husband thinks, you know, this may be the trail that uh, they're on because it is more smooth. So we're just kind of continuing on. I hope you enjoy do. this portion of the video. 
Um, there's not many videos out there with yeah. electric unicycles. They've got some videos. Uh, riding these types and of trails. So I hope you do enjoy this. In most areas and let me know your thoughts. If you do have questions about anything that you see here, oh, it's super bumpy. My husband said, let the wheel do the work. Just keep pushing through. Our wheels do have power, a lot of power. My daughter's getting off, like I said. Safety first, okay, okay, um, okay. and I'm getting I'm off gonna, the, I'm gonna walk the EUC. So Don't she's worry. getting off. Don't now she's going to be remounting here. There she goes. And there's just, just too get many off and routes, walk it so I'm just walking to. the EUC, walking around it. it. Tends to be bumpy. And then I am going to slowly okay. but too much, surely too much, mount too much. and get back I'm on it. my <laughs> EUC. It's just getting practice doing this. So not a big deal uh, for us. It's just, you know, safety first is very important. But like I was saying, if you do have any questions about anything that you see here, if you have a comment on this mountain bike trail at the North Walnut Creek Trail, let me know if you have any tips on riding an electric unicycle or if you've ridden this trail before the off-roading portion at uh, the Walnut Creek Trail in North, in in the North part. Let me know. Okay, now there's I just too many routes you see on the ground, so I am just gonna go Definitely ahead not. and walk the EUC. Uh, EUC is short for Electric Unicycle, and then I'm going to get to a safe place and then remount it. But let me know your experiences if you have been on this portion and how it's been, whether you've been on a mountain bike, an electric unicycle, a one wheel, or even a regular bike on this off-roading portion of the Walnut Creek Trail in um, the north part of Austin. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feel free to post any comments that you see. See, you see there, uh, there's a lot of roots on the ground so i'm just kind of trying to get through this this is our first time going through this um my husband my daughter and me um actually i think my husband had gone through this portion before my daughter and me by himself because he likes to look out for these trails, test them out before we go on them. So I believe maybe he actually went on this trail before us. So sorry about that. Um, just wanted to make sure I was accurate with my video commentary as I continue to comment on this video uh, for the off-roading portion that we took of the trail when we were at the North Walnut Creek uh, Trail here in Austin, Texas. So hope you are enjoying this portion. As you can see, I am avoiding the roots on the ground. I'm going around them. Uh, as I get more experienced, I probably will try to muster up the courage to go over the roots. But as a, an EUC rider, uh, I learn to try to avoid obstacles if I can rather than go through them. Um, but if I can't, I need to learn how to power through some of these obstacles. So I will tell you, uh, it was a little bit stressful going here. There's a biker behind me because a lot of mountain bikers go, this, okay. go on this super fast. So um, I got off my EC and then I remounted. So being my first time, it was a little bit stressful for me to be on this. There's my husband, my daughter, just kind of uh, waiting for me and um, getting out of the way from these mountain bikers. And if you are in this type of situation uh, where you're on a trail like this, because it's very narrow, and there are people behind you, say a mountain biker or someone on an electric vehicle going at a fast speed and you're just a beginner, especially on one of these trails, if it's your first time, I would suggest just getting off of your vehicle and going to the side, kind of like what you just saw here. So um, again, safety is our number one priority on this video channel, EUC in Austin. 
Um, it's better to be safe than, you know, get into an accident or hold other people up who are regulars on these types of trails. Now, as you can see, we are walking the EUC here again. There's just too many routes there uh, going around it. Kind of narrow here. And then I am remounting my EUC right here, getting back on it. There I am. And, you know, it's just practice, you know, getting experience. I do get a lot of people asking me, well, how do you remount and get off and balance? And you make it look so easy. My husband um, referred to it as it looks like magic when you see uh, electric unicycles riding their EUCs. And honestly, it's just like riding a bike. You just get practice and you get better. So it's just getting that experience of riding these electric unicycles um, i'm going pretty fast at this pace um i I'm, I'm not sure there may be some more mountain bikers behind me but they're not close enough for me to get out of the way but i'm also trying to catch up with my daughter and my husband um so that i'm not left behind they wouldn't le leave me behind but i'm just trying to catch up with them so oh there's a bump there you saw my daughter with the root now I'm, I'm i'm finally caught up with them and i'm slowing down a little and yes there's a root there she avoided it sometimes you just cannot avoid these obstacles that you see so um it's just getting experience and honestly if you are doing these trails and you do see an obstacle and you don't feel safe or comfortable you know going through it or you know you just you just feel unsteady i would just suggest getting off your vehicle walking it around just kind of what you saw us doing and then get back on your vehicle when you are comfortable there's my husband my daughter oh there's another biker passing okay that's why we are stopping i think that is why i was kind of going at a faster pace because i did sense there was a biker behind me i do have a mirror on my helmet kind of like a mirror of a car where you can see the rear instead of you know um turning your head i still do that because I like to see, but if I'm in this type of situation where you know I can't because it's so narrow, um, I use that mirror because it's just easier to use as a rider. And it's actually mounted on the top of my helmet. So think of it as a car and having your rear view mirror or your side mirror. It's a little bit to the side of my head on the left hand side, but it is mounted on my helmet so that I can see uh, you know people behind me and my husband also uses a mirror he has one on his helmet and then he has also a mirror on his wrist I believe it's on his left wrist that is he mounts it um, on his hand so that he has dual mirrors for things like you know seeing obstructions behind or also when we are crossing the street if we do go on the street so here we are continuing on as you can see this is a bit challenging for us there's a mountain biker right there um, and it was a little bit stressful I'll be honest my husband's asking me how did you like, like it. it it's super stressful it's super there. there's a biker well, here talking to us behind, behind me the so biker that you saw that stressful. we had passed right now. and yes. we took some time now we're, we're done talking to the biker and we are ready to ride so we are just kind of continuing on that's the end of the trail and we are finished with the off-roading portion of this and we are back on the trail back on the North here. Walnut Creek Trail. So we're just kind of continuing on. That was a very interesting experience off-roading. Sure. I've never been on that portion of the trail. We've been here several times, North Walnut Creek Trail, but not on the off-roading portion, especially with our electric unicycles um, or EUCs. We call them EUCs for short. So if you hear me um, referring to them as EUCs, that's kind of the um, abbreviated 
um, pronunciation of these electric unicycles. But I'll go back and forth between EUC and electric unicycle. Okay, so now we are back on the trail. My husband puts his music on so people can hear. He has actually say built-in speakers on his electric unicycle, which is the, again, the Bull Commander unicycle. It's a heavier wheel. It's about 90 pounds, just like my Sherman Max. But the music helps because um, when they hear us, people know to get out of the way. Sometimes they don't hear us if they're on the phone or if they have headphones. But for the majority of the part, people do get out of the way when behind them. And as I mentioned in my other vehicles, I mean, I'm sorry, not vehicles, my other videos, um, if, you know, there are people that are in front of you, oh, look, there's a tree branch there on the right-hand side. Um, I believe my husband was pointing it out. But, um, and there's a mountain biker there on the right-hand side. But uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, if you are behind someone and you are just trying to pass them, you would say on your left, on your right. It actually comes from the, the biking community that's biker etiquette. But um, we're on a vehicle, electric unicycle, so we just kind of follow their etiquette when we're on these trails. But I do enjoy this trail, the North Walnut Creek Trail here in Austin. It's very nice. There's a lot of people, so it can definitely get crowded, especially on the weekends. If you're looking to go on these trails with less people, maybe sometime during the week, in the early evenings, um, or during the day, you know, when most people are at work. Okay, we are at the three mile mark here at the North Walnut Creek Trail here, and we're continuing on. We are actually almost done with this portion of the trail, and I will let you know we actually have a, um, a little surprise for you as we go to the end of this trail so I won't ruin the surprise I'll let you watch it and we are just kind of continuing on here at the North Walnut Creek Trail we are fit, almost done with this main portion here so just kind of you know slowing down here for uh, these uh, pedestrians when we do see pedestrians we tend to slow down so again, you know, we'll be slowing down, especially if there's a family there with children and um, if when we see dogs, but you just kind of want to be, you know, just be courteous to pedestrians because they still do have the right of way since we are on vehicles, you know, um, and also it gives the electric unicycle community a better name, okay? So you just don't want to give us a bad name as electric unicycle riders. So we're slowing down here. There is a dog there and actually a couple of dogs. And we're just kind of continuing on here. And um, we're getting to almost the end of this trail portion. But don't worry, there's still more to come on this video. So I just want you to hang on and uh, continue watching, okay? So again, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to post up any comments. If you've been on this trail with any electric vehicles, I'd love to hear about it. Oh, here's the end of the trail, the North Walnut Creek Trail. So we went three miles. I think it was 3.2 miles to be exact from Balcones District Park. And here's the surprise I wanted to tell you so basically the surprise is we are going on the extension of the north walnut creek trail to north lamar boulevard so basically there's an extension that you know there's a walnut creek metro park pool on the left there's actually an extension that has been in the works for a long time and um, again please if you do uh, like this channel please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching but getting back to the extension they've been working on this for a long time I think years and they completed um, if you know one portion of the extension which is to 
North Lamar Boulevard. And that is what we're writing right now. We are writing the extension that they completed at the North Walnut Creek Trail. So this is the surprise for you. I think their plans in the future is to connect the North Walnut Creek Trail and the South Walnut Creek Trail, which would be so cool to actually ride this North Walnut Creek Trail with our electric unicycles and go all the way to the South Walnut Creek Trail on the trail system without going through you know the streets and if you missed it i do have a video of us riding the south walnut creek trail which again i will put in the description of this video if you'd like to check out our ride on the south walnut creek trail so basically this is ex the extension as much as it is and we are riding to uh Boulevard where they completed the extension. Now just be careful here because there are loose dogs and they are actually not supposed to be loose. They are supposed to be on leash on this trail and unfortunately there are some loose dogs throughout this video. So if you do see that you just want to be very careful there you go. And as I mentioned in our other videos when you see these dogs, you want to ride slow on the electric unicycle or any um, vehicles that you have, unless it's, you know, in attack mode, but you just want to ride slow because they are actually trained to, it's just kind of inherent with their nature, these dogs, to chase vehicles like cars that go very fast. So if you're going at a slow, you know, walking pace on your electric vehicle, whether it's electric unicycle or skateboard or e-bike, they're less likely to chase you down. I didn't know that. My husband had to tell me that and give me that tip. So there's a tip for you when you're going past dogs. And again, you know, if you're going past dogs, you're going past pedestrians, you do want to slow down because they do have the right of way. There's some kids here and it's just a very nice day here riding uh, this trail. And most times we do do our rides on Sunday afternoon. So there's gonna be a lot of people sometimes on these trails when we do them on the weekends. There are times like our East Brushy Creek Trail that we just do it you know, on the week. Okay, um, that is North Lamar Boulevard there on the right side. So basically if you wanted to ride to North Lamar Boulevard, like the street portion, it actually veers off to the right. So we're just kind of continuing on exploring this extension. I believe before my daughter and I and my husband rode this, my husband had explored this, I think the week before. So, okay, we are at the four mile, mar mile mark here on the North Walnut Creek Trail, um, the extension portion of it, but he had already explored it. So um, if you are in a family, it is good to explore some of these trails before the rest of your family does uh, ride them, like, you know, when you bring along your children um, or, or anyone else who may be, have less experience. And my husband is the one that has more experience than my daughter riding. At this point, we're all intermediate riders. And like I mentioned in our earlier videos, We've been riding since last year, January of 2022. As I do this video commentary, we just finished spring break and it is March 2023. So we're just kind of continuing on here on the extension portion. I hope that you are enjoying this portion of the video. If you have any questions about the extension portion or if you've been actually written it, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to post any questions or comments down below in the video description. So we are just kind of continuing on here on the extension portion here. I believe we're going to veer here to the right. There's a roundabout. We're making a right turn. Okay, there's some pedestrians. And then we're going straight, continuing along. So just kind of 
going along and this is all the extension oh my husband actually surprised me here we were doing some off-roading and so we made a right hand turn so we are going into the forest here in north walnut creek trail the extension portion of it so we are riding here again this is my first time and my daughter's first time it's a very nice trail here uh this portion here uh there's less roots on this portion than what we just rode um back you know on the prior portion of this video you saw us riding around those routes on those mountain bike trails i actually enjoyed this part of the trail the mountain bike trail if it is a mountain bike trail for the video versus the other one we just need more experience and that could have been a more advanced uh trail so my oh. husband's like we are we What's made happening? a wrong turn oh we, we made a wrong turn back. okay so at this point turn around. um we are backtracking um i think that was Move like a dead here. end for that trail so we are they made a right here to get back on this portion of the trail need to watch out because of the tree branches Whoa. like i had mentioned earlier uh we just had an ice storm um i guess we oh we made another wrong turn so we are backtracking again okay sorry about that this is where turning. you get experience, you know, and I'm getting right, off get and off mounting and the EC. Turn. This is where you get experience as and a rider. Um, you just need and to, go. you know, ride the trails. So we're continuing on going around that humongous tree branch right there that fell. And I'm following them. I believe they, yeah, to the left here and continuing on so we're doing a little bit of backtracking at this point my husband just wanted to show us this portion of the off-roading portion of the trail and i'm ducking here Get watching for here. trees and that's one of the things um i have to watch out as i film these videos um i actually uh, have my gopro attached to my helmet so if there are any obstructions above me like trees or even like you know we're going under a small bridge a low bridge i really have to duck because there's the extra thing on top of my head which is my gopro camera and as i mentioned in the other videos i am using a gopro hero 8 here we are just going around all these tree branches for these videos and um, it's been a good camera actually my husband got it for me a couple years ago I did not use it it sat in my drawer for years until now when we started riding the electric unicycles um, okay we, we're getting off here oh, wow. in this area because there's a tree in the way and um, now we're powering off and my husband's gonna have to lift that electric unicycle 90 pounds on his extreme bull commander to do the same thing with my daughter there's no way oh, we wow. can actually wow. go over that okay. um, we want to be safe like i had mentioned before he lifted hers and mine i attempted to do this it's just a 90 pound wheel and maybe i, I just breathe. need I more muscle this. strength upper body so strength heavy. but he is going to lift it for me so that we can continue on so thank you for that um yes this was very surprising that's why you don't want to ride too fast and if you especially if you are a beginner you do want to ride in the daytime so you know these trails um when you see them okay so we are ready to ride and here we are we're mounting the euc i hope you enjoy uh seeing all the different um experiences that we have when we ride these trails um, especially when there are times where, you know, I just keep it in the video, you know, we made a wrong turn or like you just saw the tree branch, um, or the tree was in the way and us going around these trees. I don't want to edit any of that part out because I want to show you the full riding experience of what we do as a family. So, you know, kind of what to expect 
and to kind of see how we, um, you know, handle these experiences when we encounter them. Because it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be, oh, it's a paved road. There's no obstructions. There's no pedestrians. You know, there are times when it's like that, but not all the time as a rider. And as a rider, it's just like, you know, driving a car. You just need to be cautious, be aware of your surroundings. Okay, so we are just kind of continuing on here on this trail portion uh, from the, I think, the extension of the North Walnut Creek Trail. And at, right at this point, we are just kind of uh, exploring and kind of seeing the off-roading portion from the extension. We're veering here to the left and we are ducking for tree branches. And here we are. And I believe my husband is pointing there to the left hand side. Oh. We are turning around and I think we are backtracking at this point in the video um, on this North Walnut Creek Trail to head back. And I just wanted to make a statement about tree branches, especially, you know, this was after the ice storm that we had here in Austin. You really have to be careful, especially if you don't have a full face helmet. Okay, we're getting off here, walking the EUC. It's a little bit bumpy here, so safety first again. But in terms of your speed, if you're going too fast, you could actually ran, run into a tree branch. Yeah, just roll it over. There's baby. Lamar Boulevard Got straight it. ahead. I think my husband is pointing it out it to us. Oh, this and is we're at the I'm end back. of the extension, oh, so wow. my husband's putting his music on, and we are back on the main trail of the extension on the pavement. So what I was talking about tree branches is just you don't want to go too fast because you could actually run into the tree branches, especially if you don't have a full face helmet. Uh, like my daughter and my husband here, they have, they call it a half helmet. A full helmet is a, it's covering your entire face. Oh, I had to change the battery here. So basically we had to veer to the side and I had to change the battery on my GoPro Hero 8. So again, we are backtracking on this part of the extension. We had just gone to Lamar Boulevard on the North Walnut Creek Trail and we are backtracking. So I think that's all I have to say about helmets and safety and speed. Um, like you know I've mentioned on this channel safety does come first. It's the most important thing here on our channel EUC in Austin. Okay so here we are going back and this is the extension portion of the North Walnut Creek Trail in North Austin. And it's just a nice day. This, again, this is after the ice storm that we had here. So throughout the video, you have seen the tree branches. Um, so they're just um, kind of getting them out of the way. They still have to do that. And as I had mentioned, the music is on for my husband's uh, electric unicycle so that people can actually know that we're coming and hear it through his speakers. There are a lot of loose dogs here on this trail. So I would just warn you ahead of time, if you do come to this trail, we noticed a lot of loose dogs. And as I mentioned in the video and other videos, you don't want to go too fast when you see dogs because they're actually their nature is to chase fast objects like cars. So if you go at a slow, steady speed, like a walking speed, it's almost as if you're a pedestrian um, at that speed. 
on the electric unicycle versus going so fast like a car. If you do that, they're going to opt to want to chase you down. So these pedestrians passed us and said, oh, those are so cool. And we get that all the time. I get questions about the electric unicycle. Again, here are some loose dogs. So you do want to be careful. There is a dog there on the left. Now my husband surprised me here. We are going to do some more off-roading. As you can see, he's more the adventurer between the two of us. Uh, I really thought we were just going to head back and stay on the paved trail. But these are the mountain bike trails here at the North Walnut Creek Trail. And my husband has started to explore them. Um, and here's a creek here on the right hand side. You can't see it through the, all the branches, but uh, there's the creek there. But my husband has started to explore some of these trails. He explores beforehand, so he knows what to expect before me and my daughter get on it. So he just kind of wanted to explore this portion of these mountain bike trails here at the North Walnut Creek Trail. Now it's a little bit too rocky. You see those rocks there. Oh. Uh, so now we are kind of backtracking okay. so and these trails are made for the mountain bikers. So we just have to be careful as electric unicycle rides. We are going back and we're backtracking. Um, if it's just too rigorous, then we would just kind of go to another portion of the trail for us since we are not on mountain bikes. And we just need to get the experience. Again, there's the creek on the left-hand side. Uh, there's some water. It's nice to see some water in the creek. Always talking about we do need the water here in Texas. It's a good thing when it rains because we do need water. There's so much greenery and we'd like to keep things green here in Austin, Texas. Okay, so now we're getting back on the main portion of the Walnut Creek Trail in North Austin. This is the North Walnut Creek Trail. And we are back on the main portion. Talking to my uh, daughter here about dinner plans. Well, what would we she like to tonight. eat for dinner? And just having a conversation with think? my daughter about Maybe. that. And she said, I want steak. So what we're just kind of talking. Um, as I had mentioned before, <laughs> we usually well, do these it, rides as a pick, group, so. uh, as a family on Sunday something. afternoon. Just need to watch out for this biker kid on the right. Sometimes you need to slow down, uh, especially when it comes to children and small animals, as you never know what they're going to do uh, on these trails. And sometimes they're not paying attention. They're just being kids or being dogs. So as a rider, you just need to pay attention. Okay, we're at the 3.5 mile, mi mile mark here. here on the North Walnut Creek Trail. We're going back to where we started and where we started was the Balcones District Park. As I had mentioned before, we usually like to start there and park there because of the parking situation. Here at the main portion of North Walnut Creek Trail, the parking situation can be a bit tricky, especially on the weekends. There could be a lot of people. Uh, there's some tree branches here on the right uh, to you can see from the ice storm. And again, just be careful of there are some loose dogs when you go on these trails here. You just want to be careful and of course be mindful of pedestrians, children and animals, anything on these trails. They do have the right of way. Uh, there's a lot of obstacles here. There are some toys cars, cars here on the right hand side. So I'm telling my daughter just to watch out for those. Uh, we don't know where they're going to be going with these children that are maneuvering them and controlling those toy cars. So yeah, as a kid, I actually liked remote control cars. I thought they were pretty cool. So it's kind of nice to see them on this video as I narrate uh, watching it again in this video commentary. Okay, we are at the main portion here. We're getting to the beginning 
of the North Walnut Creek buddy. Trail here. This is the main trail okay, start. And it's 3.2 miles to Balcones okay. District Park, where we are heading. And again, that's where Balcones we started. And that's where we parked. Oh so we're Pedestrian pretty much getting to towards the end nice of uh, this ride, just kind of heading back. We've been riding for quite some time at this point. You've seen throughout the video, we've been on the main concrete paved trail, but then we've also done some off-roading here where the mountain bikers ride on the mountain bike portion of the trails, which is kind of cool. And I've always heard that the North Walnut Creek Trail is really good for mountain bikers, and it's very popular for mountain bikers. So it's kind of cool to actually see that uh, into play. So pretty cool here. We are crossing a bridge and just going slow whenever we see pedestrians. Um, and again, Please, if you do enjoy what you see here on our channel, please like and subscribe our channel, EUC in Austin. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy these videos. Okay, continuing on. As you can see, there are a lot of pedestrians at this point of the video here so we are just kind of trying to maneuver around all of these pedestrians there's a dog a kid there and some people walking here on this trail that's just one of the things all about this trail again if you are a beginner i just be careful that you are comfortable navigating around obstacles and pedestrians if you decide to go on this trail because this trail could be very tricky especially if you go at a busy time during the weekends and there are a lot of people as you see here in this video so once we pass the pedestrians and there's no one in the way then we kind of speed up a little but not too fast but then we have to kind of continuing to slow down we are here at the three mile mark three at the north mark. walnut creek trail we are heading back to balcones district park where we started and at this point we are going uphill there's a slight incline here so if you're actually riding a bike or any type of manual vehicle, um, just be you know cautious that there is a slight incline going towards you know Balcones District Park from the main portion of the trail. We did actually um, ride here, and I do I might have some video. I'm not sure with some friends who have bikes, and it's always kind of a challenge going up the hill for them on the manual bikes so if you have any type of electric vehicle even if you have an e-bike that assist can definitely come in handy and can help especially when you're going uphill okay so we kind of are continuing on and it's interesting because the farther away that you get from the main trail of walnut creek north walnut creek which is pretty popular the less people there are on these trails going back to Balcones District Park. You'll see less people as we get away from the main trail and, you know, kind of grouped together versus what we saw. Oh, here's some roller skaters here on the right. So watch out. And I will say I did roller skate as a kid. And riding an electric unicycle is often referred to as roller skating or skiing. And I did both a lot of that as a kid. I also ice skated as a kid. So just getting on the electric unicycle makes me feel very nostalgic uh, because I did that as a kid and being outdoors. I was outdoors a lot as a kid. And growing up as an adult, we again, we're heading back. We're going uphill. I find that I spent less and less time outdoors. So just kind of getting back into the outdoor scene 
riding these trails, learning how to ride the electric unicycle has been a great experience for me, a great experience for my husband and my daughter and for us as a family. And just to be out there and be one with nature and to be around people uh, again, because, you know, as, as you know, you know, COVID, when COVID hit, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, we, we, we had to all social distance. Okay, we're at the two and a half miles North Walnut Creek Trail. And as I narrate this, as I do the video commentary for this video, we are in 2023 and COVID hit what in 2020. So it's been a good three years already. And that's a long time to not be around people. So it's just great to be out and about again on these electric unicycles to give us a chance to be around people um, again because you know it's all about community to be around people and to be around nature and enjoy the outdoors here we are uh, at the gracie woods park on the left hand side it's a great park here that's what i like there are a couple parks you know on our way to balconies district park and this is one of them. This is very popular with the kids as well too. The Gracie Woods Park on the left hand side here. You'll see it as we continue on this trail. But there's actually also a park. You may have seen it um, on near the main portion of the trail that we go to when we're riding this trail with our friends, the North um, Walnut Creek Trail. And you know, we all have our kids. Um, hang out at the playground for a while you know before we ride after we ride in between our rides to just to kind of give them a break um, to go on the playground okay so we're passing the Gracie Woods Park I believe and there was a playground there on the left and we are heading back towards uh, Balcones District Park here so I mean, you still see some people here um, walking this trail, but again, not as many as, you know, on the main portion of the Walnut Creek Trail. So, and some of these some of these people that you see these pedestrians they could actually live in the area because uh, there's homes there's apartment homes or, you know apartment buildings alongside of these this trail which is kind of nice if you live here and if you live here and you go on this trail let me know in the comments you know your experience on the trail if you've been on the trail as a electric unicycle rider or any kind of rider whether you ride a manual bike an electric vehicle or if you just kind of jog the trail or walk the trail i'd love to hear your thoughts feel free to drop any questions or comments below uh, this video here hope you are enjoying it as you can see we're at the two mile mark here north walnut creek trail the sun is um, starting to set um, it's coming through, it's behind these trees here, but it's just been a nice day, nice weather we're having as I narrate this, do the video commentary. Um, I'm doing this, you know, I think I had mentioned after spring break, so it's March 2023. We're just having the perfect weather right now here in Austin, Texas, before it gets too hot, before summer hits. So if this is something that you're thinking about doing, you wanna learn how to ride an electric unicycle, or you ride any type of electric vehicle, or even a manual bike, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to get on these trails and explore while the weather is perfect to be outside versus when it gets really hot you know if you've been in you know texas if you've lived in austin you know we've had those summers where it's been over 100 degrees too hot too humid to do anything thank goodness for central air conditioning um you know so if you are thinking about doing this you know now is the time to do this we're kind of slowing down at this point uh, I remember there was some type of accident here 
um, when we were on the Back North there? Walnut Creek Trail at this portion of the video. I'm not quite sure what had happened. I think my husband had told me that uh, there was a little girl. She may have fallen off her vehicle, her bike. So at this point in the uh, video, we are actually getting off our electric unicycles. There she is on the right. Um, I think she, it seemed like she was okay. Um, but um, we're just getting off our electric unicycles walking the electric unicycles Sorry, and then you see Sorry, my sir. husband here uh, talking to my daughter she might be asking questions about it and then remounting the electric unicycles so we're kind of continuing on here on this portion of the video okay so we passed that accident and if you ever encounter something like that, you know, as you can tell, we just kind of uh, walked past it, of course, made sure that uh, the girl was okay. She seemed to be okay. She just might have just fallen off of her bike. But if you've encountered something like that, I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts, or any questions if you've encountered um, something that you've seen here on this video, like that accident. I think there was another video that I did. There was also an accident, but it was a car accident um, as we rode. I believe that must have been one of our videos on the East Brushy Creek Trail as well, too. So it's always interesting going over the footage when I do narrate these videos to kind of remember, you know, what did happen on these uh, rides what did we see on these rides and it's funny because you know on these electric unicycles you can do so much more exploring you know these trails your city even your own neighborhood versus you know when you're in a car I think I had mentioned this in other videos, other recordings, you don't notice some things versus being on these electric unicycles or even any type of electric vehicle. They call them PEVs, and I believe that stands for personal electric vehicle. So whether it's an e-bike, electric unicycle, electric scooter, you kind of explore more and you kind of notice things that you may have not noticed, you know, just driving past a certain area in your car. Because when you're in the, your car, you go at such a faster speed than, you know, one of these electric vehicles. As you can tell, we're not going that fast. We're going a little bit faster than walking but you know we you know sometimes we can go at you know bicycle speeds especially when there's a lot of pedestrians so of course you're gonna you know you're going to notice a lot more than if you're in a car riding at a faster speed so that's just kind of one of the neat things i do enjoy i do you know appreciate about riding this electric unicycle this journey that we've sh i've shared with you that we've been riding you know it's been a year now we started riding in january 2022 there's mopac there on the right hand side we're heading back and as i record this video narration as I do this recording, it's March 2023. So it's been a good, you know, year that we've been riding our electric unicycles and we ride often. So, you know, you know, we get a lot of experience riding more often. There are some people who've been doing it for years, but they don't ride as often, so they don't have as much experience. So, you know, the more that you can ride, the more experience that you get riding this, these vehicles, the quicker that you will learn and also become a better rider. It's just getting in those hours um, to ride, uh, you know, these, these vehicles when you do have the time and explore these trails. So if you're watching and if you have any questions about this North Walnut Creek Trail, if you have questions about the extension, feel free to drop them in the you know, comments below this video. 
also if you've actually ridden this uh, recently or even in the past. I'd love to hear your experiences. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Or if there are any other trails that you recommend riding uh, here in Austin, because that's what we focus on in our video channel, EUC in Austin, let me know. Um, I know there's a lot of different trails here in the city, around the city, and we'd love to maybe check it out love to explore we're always open to exploring new trails in the area you know we are local so you know we we do appreciate if you have any recommendations and to hear your own experiences riding some of these trails whether it's this trail or any of the other trails that um, we've done videos on or new trails that you may suggest that uh, you know you like uh, if there are any trails that maybe you don't like as much I'd love to hear your thoughts on that and why uh, just have tips for us to watch out if we explore uh, other trails here in the Austin Texas area okay so again we are riding back here in this portion and as you can see, as I mentioned, there's less and less pedestrians, but there are still people kind of here on the road, I believe. And there is a, um, I believe there is a mom there in the stroller. So we just kind of want to be careful and be respectful of the pedestrians while riding you know we are on electric vehicles so they do still have the right of way and again as i had mentioned throughout the video we don't want to give electric unicycle riders a bad name you know it's still you know it's been around for a couple years already i believe since 2015 2016 these electric unicycles um, you know but it's still it still needs to catch on you know it there are people that ride them around town we've done some group rides which I will cover in upcoming videos I have a lot of video footage actually to go through we've done some group rides here in the Austin Texas area and they've been really really fun so um, more to share more reason for you to like and subscribe to our channel EUC in Austin so I have more to say about that in our upcoming videos so stay tuned about that and the, I will say the group rides are really fun and you know don't be intimidated by them because some of them they you know they do cater to uh, riders of all different levels okay and if you do want to go on a group ride just make sure you're going on a group ride at your level and check with the people who are in charge who are organized these group rides just to make sure so we overall we've had a great experience with the group rides here in the austin texas area so i'll have more to say about that in the future okay so we are nearing the end of the portion here of our trail here heading towards the balconies district park where we parked our car um, we are getting close to there as you can see there's less and less pedestrians um, on the trail here so overall I really do like the North Walnut Creek Trail the experience I really do enjoy it we do have as I mentioned a video of the South Walnut Creek Trail um, so if you want to check it out I will put it in the description but between the two, I do enjoy the North Walnut Creek Trail. There's more people, more to see, and it's pretty cool to see the extension on this trail. Speaking of group rides, I forgot to mention, if you have actually been on a group ride here in the Austin, Texas area, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your experiences riding on the group rides um, we're always open to hearing about people's experiences and hearing about other groups 
in the area. But that's all I'm going to say about the group rides because I have so much video, so much video footage of the group rides we've been on that I just won't spoil for you. Okay, we are getting near the end of this video, the end of our ride here of EUC in Austin. We made it to Balcones District Park here. And you can see the playground here on the left-hand side. There are some joggers. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And we're all done. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.